haunted. In the town of Blakesley, Arkansas, there was a house that everyone knew was haunted. It was an old neglected house on the side street in the oldest part of town. Sometimes the most wonderful smells issued from the house and filled the street with the heavenly odor of fresh baked bread. Sometimes the neighbors would hear the sound of music and laughter coming from the empty house, as if there was a wonderful party in the full swing. One day, a man moved into town from a distant city. He saw the empty house and asked the neighbors who owned it. No one told the stranger about the house's curious history. The man went to the city hall and purchased the property. Soon after moving in, however, strange things began to happen. Odd noises in the night, weird lights drifting from room to room, the smells of baking from a cold kitchen, and worst of all, the sounds of a party when the new owners were trying to sleep. After a few days, the man's wife declared that she could no longer live in so haunted place and moved out, taking the children with her. Before long, the man gave up as well. So he went to the mayor to complain and see if he could get his money back. The mayor refused, saying he never misrepresented the house as anything it was not. Just because a house is haunted, he said, doesn't mean you can't live there. The trick is making friends with the ghosts, learning to get along with them. The man therefore went to the pastor of the local church and told him his problem. You've been in town for a month and only now, when you are having a problem, do you come and see me? Well, sit down and tell me what's on your mind. The man sat down and told the pastor about the haunted house he'd bought. The pastor accompanied the man to the house. As they approached the house, the pastor smelled a delicious smell. What's that wonderful smell? It's the ghosts baking bread. I hear music. Is someone having a party? It's the ghosts having a party. They went inside and looked around the empty house. The pastor sat at a table while the man looked for something to serve his guest. He found an old bottle of whiskey and poured a glass for the pastor and one for himself. They toasted to each other's health and drank. They were gone so long that the man's wife began to get nervous. He went to the pastor's house hours ago. She said to herself, Maybe the ghosts got him. So she picked herself and went to the pastor's house and introduced herself to the pastor's wife. Together, they pulled their misgivings about ghosts and their worries about their husbands and went to the haunted house together. They peeked in through the windows and saw the two men sitting at a table, drinking, laughing and having a good time. The wives joined their husbands and found they had much to talk about. The laughing and talking attracted the neighbors who stopped by and introduced themselves. Pretty soon, the kitchen was filled with the smell of cooking. A neighbor brought his fiddle and another brought his guitar. And just like that, there was a party. The old house filled with real smells and laughter. It was alive again, and that, of course, was what it wanted all along. From that day to this, the old house came alive again, and its ghosts were laid to rest, never to be seen or heard of again.